driving to work right now and I was on the road and a squirrel ran out and I slowed down and swerved but I I nailed him got him and I hate that but like I always try to find the positive in everything and so the positive in that is that if you have to go if death comes calling and today's your day getting hit by a homie is a pretty cool way to go I have been waiting to tell you guys everything about the warehouse for so long. Today's the day. Look, they even got my parking spot. I've wanted to park in one of these spots for so long. It's a king sitting in his throne and I've just never been the king of a business, but I am now. Look how good that looks. All right, welcome to my crib, guys. So I'm gonna give you a little office tour first. First office on the right is Jake's office. Jake is always working super hard. What are you doing? The, the shirts, they were coming from the rear. I got them coming in the back, you know? They're sending it, so. Oh, yeah. you could send it. Yeah, send it, they're coming from the rear. That's, cool. that's all I was doing. Cool, bro. Cool. Keep up the good work. Good to see you. Love you. Thanks, man. Next office on the right is Steven's office. Steven's always working really hard, too. What are they, what's going, what the heck? Hey, dude. Oh, what, hey. I saw the, Never mind. What are y'all doing? Checking out the new screen we're about to print. Oh, okay. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Thought I saw something. So back over here is the bathroom. Come back over here and check it. Oh, hey. Sorry, guys. Uh, good work, boys. Ugh, sorry about that. And then over here, we have the conference room. This is where all the brainstorming in this building happened. Much better. Hey, what's up, Andy? This is Andy of Andy Rawls. Uh, How's it going, everybody? And you guys have not seen this table. Andy cool. has a fine Texas woodworking channel. And you said this is like the biggest table you've built, or the heaviest, it's right? One of the heaviest. heaviest. Size-wise, it's not the biggest, but yeah. uh, I do feel like it's probably one of the coolest tables I've made. I agree. So I want to talk about the table, but okay. there's something I need to talk about first. We are no longer going to be called Ranch Merch. We're doing a total rebranding, and I've been talking about the name forever. You probably just saw it written on the table. We have changed the name from Ranch Merch to Bunker Branding Co. So we thought the name Bunker is pretty cool, kind of fit the demolition ranch theme, and we wanted to make our warehouse. There's, there's smut. Yeah, my kids were in here a second ago. <laughs> we wanted to make the warehouse like a really cool place that everybody enjoyed working at. So it's kind of going to be a theme thing. So. Andy hooked us up with this yeah. awesome inlay of this table. Yeah, so this is laser engraved. And it took, uh, it took several companies to, to be able to do it. We actually had to cut the board right here. Oh yeah, you, feet, you can only fit four oh, feet. Yeah, I can see it. So we branded the bunker, branding company, and then we did the actual bunker over there. I love it. Yeah, so this is our, our emblem, our logo, whatever you call it. We've got a super cool, just still welded base with a nice little wood rudder that you can kick your feet up on if you're, if you're relaxing. Very nice. Uh, the top is, made up of four pieces of book match. It's a sequence match of veneer, it's walnut. Uh, you can kind of see it, how, how there's a book match here, these kind of stripes and patterns that go through it. Uh, we put this cool display box. So the idea for me behind this was when you walked in, the, the focal point of the table would be right here on your logo. Mm -hmm. And so you've got a little display area here with the glass, a cool metal trim detail. You could throw some patches or stickers. Or yeah, so this glass, will, this glass will come out and we could put things in there if we wanted to decorate it a little more. Exactly, and then we just, I banded it with some quarter inch steel to kind of, you know, mesh with that and match that. And Which is also good that you put that quarter inch steel around it because something happened upon uh, transport. <laughs> Can uh, can you send me that video? I can, yes. Perfect, the video's right here. Yeah. That looks really cool, dude. Thanks, man. How long did this take you? Uh, as far as hours, I didn't track it, but we worked on it probably for about a month. Just, yeah. It was, it was probably like a 40 to 45 hour job. It definitely makes this room look complete, like we got all the chairs, now we kind of messed them up, legit, but yeah. it's a legit room. We gotta get some more decorations on the walls, but 
this is our conference room. We have a big screen and we're doing presentations. Um, also, the kids just watch TV in here, so that works good so we can get some work done. And then we have this awesome table. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Now, one more thing. We have finally, we finally got to a place where we can bring on other creators. And Andy is one of those first creators. We're gonna start doing his merchandise here. And this is the first shirt, which this shirt is amazing because it's it's a play off the come and take it with the cannon and the star. It's the and state so of Texas history, man. I know, isn't that awesome? Go and make it, dude. Thank you guys. And that was your idea. I have to say this. <laughs> I like I wish I could claim that, but that was Andy's idea. And it's, it's genius. Sometimes I have some genius in it. Thanks, bro. Thanks, dude. Alright, let's check out the rest of this place. Before we go out there, I have not showed you guys the mural in a long time. Uh, because I, I've been wanting to wait till it's finished, but it's it's so close to being finished I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you today. So get ready. Sylvester Stallone looks pretty good But Sylvester Matt looks so much better. So we have me shooting a big gun American flag flying behind it Hey girlfriend not done yet. Obviously we need to finish some stars and pole need some detail over here after you have the fire coming out you have You know just a little mushroom cloud nuclear blast going off Come a little further, we have a tank, nice, sitting on top of the bunker. So that was the whole purpose of this is like the main part of the wall. This is our big bunker. And in it you will see are the sketches of a Humvee. So the Humvee is gonna be right there eventually. That's gonna be a Humvee coming out of our bunker. Go a little further, there's me wearing a bulletproof vest, shooting soon to be Desert Eagle and a 500 Magnum riding a great white shark. Now we're in the dark room. It's called that because it's dark. All these lights have little UV shades over them. And we're starting in here. I kind of showed you guys all this, but I just want to go really fast for those who haven't seen it. Starting here because this is where everything starts. So we have our screens over here. So we do screen printing here. So these are all screens. You use these clear films put them on the screens, bring them over here to this UV unit. You can see we have our logo right there. So that's a clear film that will then be burned onto this screen. So you bring this over here, you come in here, and this room is waterproof. The walls, the ceiling, they all are waterproofed, all caulked because there's a lot of spraying that happens in here and that's why we have these clear things hanging as well. So you spray out the screen, we have a pressure washer there, and we have it all plumbed and electrical hooked up. We've been doing a lot of work. We also have air run over here. We got the necessary tools on the wall, like a duster and a scrubber and a spatula and some shooting earmuffs. So then once that's done, you put them over here to dry. That's our drying rack. And then come out here with me. You bring your screen, put it here, you throw the ink on it, and then this thing prints it on the shirt. It squeezes the ink through the screen. And these shirts are just our employee shirts. They all say bunker branding. They're made out of this like fishing material, because Rob wants fishing shirts, and so we wanted to try it on some stuff that we were gonna use for ourselves first, make sure we knew how to do it. It's working good. So then they get pulled off that, they come onto this dryer, and they go through the conveyor belt to the dryer, to our beautiful assistant over here. How's it going, Mayor? Wow, lovely shirt. So these will not be for sale, unfortunately, but what will be for sale very soon are these. We have women's Demolisha pink shirts. They're not actually for sale yet because we haven't printed the sleeve. We want to have a American flag on the sleeve just like these, but we don't have the part for the screen printer to do that yet. So soon we will launch women's pink Demolisha shirts and they'll be amazing. Let me show you what we do with shirts that we print for you guys. We first go to folding. So it makes for the perfect fold every time. Even these guys can do it. So then once the shirts are folded and bagged and their stickers put on them, they come here. You can see here we have Andy's shirts. All these go and make it shirts. We have new hats 
for Lunkers here. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you yet. We also have new shirts for Lunkers. I'm not gonna open it up, I don't want you to see it. We have another Lunkers shirt. And then the other YouTuber, my brother, Operator Drewski, we have shirts for him as well. And then on the other side of the shelf, we have Demolicious stuff. We have the Vet Ranch stuff over there. We've got iPhone cases and patches over here. We're still trying to figure out all of our organization stuff, but we're slowly but surely figuring out what works best for us. Here's over there. Right. I told you what to do last. So would you say she's helping or hindering? Oh, nailed it. All right, there you go. <laughs> Someone is gonna get a Vet Ranch shirt packaged by Annie. Right. Take that side, remember? All right. All right, now lift that one up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Nailed it. And I can take the bottom. Hold it. Boom. They just let Annie do like 10 shirts. So if you get a Vet Ranch shirt that is wadded up in a little ball instead of folded, that was Annie. You're welcome. The wrinkles should just dry. Annie's folding shirts. Child labor laws, baby. She's Child just, labor laws. Oh yeah. Uh, cut all this footage. <laughs> so I've been waiting so long to bring you this video. Look, I forgot to talk about the camo netting. This place is just so awesome. So what we want to do is create something that's better than what's out there. So I've used Teespring before. Teespring is a great company. I had no problems with them, but I want to do better than Teespring. I want to bring more value to you, the viewers. I want to bring more value to our creators who come on board. I want it to be better in every single way than any other company. And I think a YouTuber run company can do that. So I present to you Bunker Branding Company, I hope you like it because we've been working super hard on it. And uh, yeah, go check it out, bunkerbranding.com, link in the description. If you are a creator, if you are a YouTuber, if you're an Instagrammer, if you're a Twitch streamer, and you wanna be a part of this, you wanna sell your merchandise through us, we would love to have you. We wanna talk to you. We actually have a place on our website that says Get Branded, and it has an application you fill out. For now, just for now, we're only taking channels with over 100,000 followers. And the reason that is, is we wanna make sure that in these early stages, we can continue to grow this business. Eventually, I would love to have anyone who wants to sell merchandise come through us. But for now, since we're just starting this with new creators, literally today when this video goes live is the first time that we've had new people. We wanna just make sure we're doing it slowly, doing it right. We don't want like hundreds of creators that we're trying to figure out all at once. We just want a few to make it easier for us. So, if you're interested, Come talk to us. The last thing that I will tell you, besides thank you, I love you, and see you next time. The last thing is we will no longer refer to the warehouse as the warehouse. The warehouse will henceforth only be referred to as the bunker. This is the bunker. This is where magic happens. This is gonna change the world. Thanks for watching off the ranch. I love you, man. Time ran into the door. Hey.